सहनावतु सहनौ भुनक्तु सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीनावधी तमस्तुमाषावह ओ शातिशाति ओं श्री गणेशाय नम ओं श्री सरस्वत नम ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्यमध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शोकशंक समस्तजनकल्याणे निरत करुणाम नमा चिन्मय देव सद्गु ब्रह्म विवर मूक कौति वाचाल पंगु लंघयते गिरी यत्तम वंदे परमानंदमाधव परमानंदमाधव सर्वेदातोचर तम गोचर गोविंद परमानंदम सद्गु प्रणतस्म्यह वैदेही सहित सुरद्रुमतले हईमे महामंडपे मध्ये पुष्पकमासने मणिमये वीरासने संस्थित अग्रे वाचयति प्रभंजन सुते तत्व मुनिभ्य परम व्याख्या भरतादि परवृत राम भजे श्यामल हरि ओम वॉम ग्रीटिंग्स on this very very auspicious day of shri ram navami today is the ninth day of the new year chaitra shuddha navami which is celebrated as shri ram navami on this day many many years ago in ayodhya to dashrath maharaj and kausalya son was born none other than the incarnation of lord vishnu and he was named shri ram not only at that time but even today the ramayana is going on which ramayana is going on <laughs> adhyatma ramayana is going on <laughs> adhyatma ramayana means the ramayana which is happening inside us may on this auspicious day shri ram be born in our heart when our heart becomes ayodhya which is without any conflict when our mind is dasharatha one who is in control of all the 10 sense organs dasharatha and when the intellect is kausalya thinks about the benefit of others in such heart to such an mind and intellect shri rama is born may 
by the grace of Bhagawan himself and by the grace of Bhagawan Shri Adi Shankaracharya ji also, this Rama Janma happened in our heart. That is the prayer for today. See how interesting. Without any planning, we are seeing the three gunas of Maya and today we have to see Sattva and Vishuddha Sattva. That's the topic for today, right? No other better day to study about Sattva and Vishuddha Sattva other than Bhagavan Sri Rama's Janma, right? So, last session, <coughs> we started seeing the two gunas of Maya. We have understood Maya in a very, very in detail manner, in depth manner. First, Maya from the standpoint of the effects we have seen Avyakta Namni, Paramesha Shakti, Anadya Vidya, Anadya Vidya Trigunatmika Para. Karya Anumeya, Sudhiya Ivamaya, Eya, Jagat Sarvamidam Prasuyate. That is the Maya from the standpoint of its effects. Then what is it from its own standpoint? It is inexplicable. Inexplicable means what? It cannot be explained as Sat or Asat. It cannot be explained as different from Brahman or one with Brahman, same as Brahman. It cannot be explained as with parts or without parts. It is indeed wondrous. It is what we say anirvachaniya rupa. It's of the nature of inexplicable. Okay. What about from the standpoint of Brahman? Shuddhadvaya Brahma vibodhanasya. From the standpoint of Brahman, there is no Maya. Why? Because on gaining the knowledge of Brahman being one with me, Nasya, it gets destroyed. So, from the standpoint of effects, it is the most powerful thing. It is the one which creates everything, in the, the power behind everything. From its own standpoint, it is inexplicable. Can't understand. Can't explain. But from the standpoint of Brahman, it is not there. So, explaining Maya in this way, Shankaracharya is also pointing to us that if we keep on looking from the standpoint of effects, Maya will always be strong. <laughs> there is one very beautiful bhajan, I don't remember it fully, but it says, Tera mera mera tera, mera tera tera mera, yehi prabhu ki Maya. Isse se kon bach paaya? Every time I say, no, I and mine, this is yours, this is mine, this is what is Maya. Who can be saved from it? Rishiyon ko, guniyon ko, gyaniyon ko, muniyon ko, sab ko isne nachaya. Isse kon bach paaya? <laughs> and the bhajan goes on explaining that to some people, it, it catches by showing glitter of wealth. Kisi ko hai dhan, ban ban ke lipati. Kisi ko hai roop ban ban ke chipati. It goes on. Some people are attracted towards the, the, the form, the beauty of something of the world, which is also Maya. Somebody gets attracted by wealth. Somebody gets attracted by power. Somebody gets attracted by pride, qualities. Nobody is saved from it. But the last verse says that... <laughs> We are the servants of Maya, but Maya is the servant of Sri Rama. So you hold Sri Rama's feet, Maya won't do anything to you. That's what we had seen in the last session also, you remember? In Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavan explains it like that. Ah, what is that? Daivi esha gunamai mama maya duratyaya mamevaye prapadyante maya metam tarantite. Those who surrender unto me, Bhagavan says, Shri Krishna says, they cross over this Maya. Right? So, don't look at Maya from the standpoint of effects. It will always be huge. Something that is beyond our capacity. Don't try to understand Maya as Maya also, because you cannot understand it is beyond intellect. 
the only thing that you have to do is what bypass it understand realize brahman and maya will be destroyed but even to bypass it we need to have basic understanding of it and that's why shankaracharya takes the next topic of explaining gunas of maya why because maya as it is may not be understood but its gunas we can understand why because they are very close to us why because they are in everything the whole world can be divided into sattva rajas and tamas satvik rajasik and tamasik the whole world every single thing of the world can be divided into these three everything is of three types satvik rajasik tamasik you study bhagavad gita elaborately it is explained 14 chapter 16 chapter 17 18 every single thing satvik rajasik tamasik food sleep sleep also is of three types they say generally sleep we say tamasik because tamas no laziness <laughs> sleep is also of three types satvik sleep means what you sleep you get up very fresh and very peaceful calm and quiet you get up sometimes rajasik sleep rajasik sleep means what very disturbed sleep you will get up in between then again you want to sleep the sleep won't come then when you don't want it will come if if it comes then there will be lot of dreams and you will also get up from the sleep as though <gasps> something has happened something has fallen have i fallen or has the world fallen what has happened you don't understand rajasik sleep and tamasik sleep is even after you get up you are still sleepy ideally you should not be because you had nice sleep correctly no but that is because the sleep itself was tamasik so you get up you are still sleepy food is of three types every single thing of the world that we experience is of these three types so understand these three types and understanding it what one should do slowly from tamas move to rajas slowly from rajas move to sattva and then we will see today from sattva move to vishuddha sattva or last time we saw that rajas which is in between can either go towards tamas or can go towards sattva take it towards sattva and help yourself to become established in that sattva for this purpose shankaracharya ji is explaining these three gunas it is not just that he has to explain but he is also pointing a method to cross maya that we should remember right okay what is rajoguna shakti we saw last time vikshep shakti hi rajasah kriyatmika so it is actually vikshep shakti is one shakti of maya right but maya itself was, is having three gunas so that power of maya which is because of rajas is called as vikshep shakti vikshep the word itself can mean projection kshepanam kshep kshep means to throw visheshena kshepanam to throw well means what well, to project well projector also you must have seen no light is thrown on the screen that's called as projection so vikshep the word itself means projection but here the projection is a different kind what is the projection here kriyatmika here projection is full of action imagine imagine a movie is being projected but that movie is full of action action thriller not soft calm quiet movie no no action thriller which means what continuously something 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 is happening then what happens in such kind of projection such kind of movies you are also already huh, oh, oh, something something is happening you are also at the edge of the seat you cannot sit quietly and enjoy no kriyatmika it is of the nature of action that is the that is the power of rajas yatah from this vikshepa shakti prasuta purani pravritti hi prasuta aur prasruta both both are okay hmm? purani pravritti the initial action the initial action of creation 
Prasruta. Prasruta was born. So it is this uh, Rajasika Shakti, Vikshepa Shakti, which starts the creation. So when we say Maya creates, we are referring to Rajasika aspect of Maya, which is creating. And then what? Raga dayaha asyaha prabhavanti nityam dukha dayoye manaso vikaraha. So on samashti level it creates the universe. On vesti level, on individual level, what does this rajas do? Or what does this vikshepa shakti do? It creates various thoughts of the mind. Various modifications of mind. Manasaha vikaraha prabhavanti nityam. Continuously it projects, it creates these ripples in the mind. What are they? Raga Adayaha, Raga Dvesha, Kama Krodha, Lobha Moha, etc. Explained in the next verse. Kamaha, Krodha, Lobha, Dambhadi, Asuya, Ahankara, Irsha, Matsaradhyaha, Tu, Ghoraha, Ete Dharmaha, Rajasaha. These are the characteristics of Rajas. We are going to see characteristics of all Gunas. These are the characteristics of Rajas. Means what? In our mind, the thoughts which disturb us are Rajasic thoughts. Okay? See, mind also can be Sattvic Rajasic Tamasic. Because everything is Sattvic, Rajasic, Tamasic, isn't it? Calm mind, Sattvic. Disturbed mind, Rajasic. Dull mind, Tamasic. See, the, ta, Tamas is actually, the mind is so dull that even these thoughts don't come. <laughs> even to think about, to have desire, to have anger, to have hatred, you need some kind of energy, some kind of interest is required, you see. You must have experienced also that sometimes we are so tired that even bad things we don't want to do. No, no, nothing. That is tamas. Whereas rajas is how? Pum pravritti hi, continuous activity of human being. So then what happens? The mind continuously has these kind of thoughts, modifications. That is the quality of rajas. That is the power of rajas. That is the expression of rajas. Yasma desha tadrajo bandhahetuhu. Yasma desha pumpravrittihi. From which is this activity of human being that man is continuously acting. Why? Because when these thoughts are there, the thoughts prompt action. We have seen in the BMI chart, you remember, the vasanas create desires. Desires create thoughts. Those thoughts create actions. So, these thoughts of mind, which are because of rajas, create action. That is what happens. Hmm? Tad rajaha bandha hetuhu. This rajas is the cause of bondage. Bondage into action. Why? Because based on these rajasika thoughts, I will act. Then that action will create further vasanas which will generate more Rajasic thoughts. Based on that, I will act again. Right? This is the Bandhahetu. Now, carefully see, okay? We have seen that Rajas is in between. Hmm? Tamas is actually not a big problem. Rajas on the side of Tamas is bigger problem. Today, Sri Ram Nomi, no? So, you see, three brothers were there. Ravana, Umbakarna and Vibhishana. Vibhishana or Vibhishana, both names are correct, is Sattoguna Pradhana, is Sattvic person. Always stands by Dharma, always tells the truth, always does what is beneficial. Even to his brother who is not listening, he tells Sattva. Kumbhakarna is Tamas. 
स्लीपिंग इज गॉट वर ऑल्सो बून ऑल्सो लाइक दैट ओनली वॉट सिक्स मंथ्स स्लीप देन गेट अप ईट अगेन सिक्स मंथ्स स्लीप टू ईट ड्रिंक स्लीप तमस रावण इज रजस विच हेज गॉन ऑन द साइड ऑफ तमस यू सी कुंभकर्ण इज नॉट अ बिग प्रॉब्लम वाई बिकॉज इज सर कुंभकर्ण इज टू डल टू डू इवन रॉन्ग थिंग्स दैट्स नॉट अ बिग प्रॉब्लम बिगर प्रॉब्लम इज हू रावण वाय रजस एक्शन एक्शन मीन्स वॉट एनर्जी इज देअर नाउ इफ यू डोंट नो वेअर टू पुट दॅट एनर्जी देन द प्रॉब्लेम बिगिन्स सो दॅट्स वाय शंकराचार्यजी हियर सेज रज बंद हे तू रजस इज द कॉज ऑफ बॉन्डेज ऍक्च्युली टेक्निकली स्पीकिंग तमस इज द कॉज ऑफ बॉन्डेज बिकॉज तमस इज द वन विच इज क्रिएटिंग वेलिंग तमस इज द वन विच इज शोइंग टू अ समथिंग एल्स isn't it non apprehension and misapprehension this is the this is the expression of tamas so tamas should be band hetu no no they say you remain in bondage because of rajas why because you are caught up in the in the cycle of action that is the bondage carefully see right now he goes on to explain वॉट इज दिस तमस एषा आवृति नाम तमो गुण से शक्ति पावर ऑफ रजस वॉज विक्षेप शक्ति ओके वॉट इज द पावर ऑफ सत्व आवरण शक्ति आवरण वेलिंग कवरिंग इग्नरन्स यया वस्तु अवभासते अन्यथा बाय वेच वस्तु वस्तु कॅन हॅव टू मिनिंग्स वस्तु मीन्स दॅट सुप्रीम रियालिटी अपियर्स डिफरंटली और वस्तु मीन्स एनिथिंग एनिथिंग बिकॉज ऑफ अवर तमस अपियर्स डिफरंटली वॉट इट इज नॉट इट अपियर्स टू बी दॅट दॅट इज कॉल्ड ॲज आवरण शक्ती ओके दोज हू हॅव स्टडीड वेदांत मांडुक्य उपनिषद एक्सेट्रा अग्रहणम अँड अन्यथा ग्रहणम दीज टर्म्स विल बी यूज देअर अग्रहणम नॉट सीईंग द रियालिटी ऑन एप्रिहेन्शन अन्यथा ग्रहणम मिस एप्रिहेन्शन सीईंग इट एज समथिंग एल्स सो वॉट इज माय ट्रू नेचर माय ट्रू नेचर इज सच्चिदानंद दॅट आय डोंट सी दॅट आय डोंट सी बट वॉट डू आय सी आय सी माय सेल्फ टू बी इंडिव्हिज्युअल अन्यथा ग्रहणम सी i don't see the truth i see something which is false to be true sa esha sa esha nidanam purushasya samshrutehe vikshepa shaktehe pravanasya hetu and this avarana actually causes all these things what number 1 it causes samsara see it causes samsara but bandha we are bound to that samsara because of rajas see the see the difference see how shankaracharya is putting he says even that vikshepa vikshepa the power of rajas which makes us get attached to this samsara that is also caused by this avarana vikshepa shakte he pravanasya hetu even that vikshepa shakti is born of this avarana this tamas aspect of maya then शंकराचार्यजी शो शोज द पावर ऑफ दिस माया तमस आस्पेक्ट ही सेज प्रज्ञावान अपी पंडित चतुरो अपी अत्यंत सूक्ष्मदृक व्यालीढ़तमसा न वेति बहुधा संबोधित अभी स्फुट ईवन इफ यू आर अ वाइज पर्सन लर्नेड पर्सन क्लेवर पर्सन इफ यू आर एक्सपर्ट इन सीईंग द वॉट वी से deep meaning of anything even then vyalidah tamasa overpowered by tamas na vetti you don't understand bahudha sambodhito api even if you are told several times in different ways bahudha bahudha means many ways sputam clearly explained still nothing goes inside why overpowered by tamas भ्रांत्यारोपितमेव साधुकलयती आलंबते तद्गुणान 
and because of this power of tamas what do we do that which is bhranti bhranti means illusion delusion that which is not real we consider it to be real and then we get attached to those things hanta hanta shankaracharya is crying hanta alas aso prabala duranta tamasa shakti hi mahati avruti hi this power of tamas which is called wailing is indeed dangerous okay how does it express actually it does not express that clearly it remains in the background we have so many kind of problems because of this tamas but we don't know that abhavana viparita bhavana asambhavana vipratipatti hi asyah ha samsarga yuktam dhruvam विक्षेप शक्ति अजस्रम क्षपयति न विमुंचति व्हाट इट डज इज इट रिमेन्स इन द बैकग्राउंड बट मेक्स दैट रजस दैट विक्षेप शक्ति क्रिएट हैवॉक इन आवर लाइफ व्हाट डू मीन इट रिमेन्स इन बैकग्राउंड वी डोंट नो मेनी थिंग्स अभावना वी नो मेनी थिंग्स रॉन्गली विपरीत भावना वी नो मेनी थिंग्स नॉट क्लियरली बट वेगली असंभावना and many things we know only with doubts vipratipatti lots of doubts this is what is our understanding and all these so to say wrong understandings all of them are because of tamas but samsarga yuktam the one who is connected with this dhruvam certainly will get in trouble not because of this but because of vikshepa shakti so actually speaking what is happening avarna shakti catches us and then vikshepa shakti torments us in college we used to play one game not very proud of it but i am sure many of you must have done the same when we want to beat somebody friend etc in the room we will take a bed sheet and put on his head and then everybody will start beating have you done anything like that no you all are really satvik people you are very rajasik kind of people some of you have you done no my god so we used to put that now there will be only one person who will put it and the person who is putting it will not beat because both his hands are busy people who are beating will be other bad example but apt <laughs> the one that puts the bed sheet is tamas see if that tamas is not there rajas cannot do anything nobody will beat why because the person is seeing now only when his vision is covered then the rajas all other people start to beat tamas blocks our vision and then rajas torments us but remember if tamas is not there rajas cannot do anything so you can say who is creating problem rajas but backed by whom tamas now what happens when we come in some satsang in the company of holy people noble thoughts good books when we come in contact with them we realize how tamas is the one which is actually covering our vision because of which rajas is creating problem actually if you see in ramayana story also if kumbhakarna would not have been tamasik and he would have stopped ravana ravana would not have done all these mistakes vibhishana was too mild to stop ravana kumbhakarna was capable but sleeping so because he is sleeping ravana used to get power it happens also 
when kumbhakarna is woken up he gives left and right to ravana he says are you mad do you even know what you have done at the end he says that anyways no point in telling you now because i was not there to tell you at the right time now everything has happened now let us face it together anyways he is going to kill everybody i will also go there and fight that's what he says why he knows what mistake ravana has done so tamas is actually the one which is covering and rajas is the one which is creating problems in our life so though it is like that please understand that there is tamas behind it don't just think that it is all rajas hmm? okay what are the characteristics of tamas the characteristics of rajas we had seen so many different kinds of thoughts what are the characteristics of tamas ha ah, adnyanam ignorance alasya laziness jadatva dullness nidra sleep pramada carelessness inadvertence forgetfulness pramada has all these meanings moodhatva foolishness or stupidity mukhaha tamoguna these are the faces of tamoguna means what these are the characteristics of tamoguna etaihi prayuktah one who is tied with all these nahi veti kinchit does not understand anything nidraluvat stambhava deva tishtati he remains as though he is either asleep or like a pole like a stump of wood stambhavat means what no reaction now start seeing this effect of sattva rajas tamas in our life not in others life last time i have warned you don't go on judging other people based on this analysis oh you are very satvik oh you are very rajasik what kind of tamasik person you are no we are not here to judge others we are here to see how our own mind takes all these different different gunas sometimes we are total tamoguna nothing we understand even after telling again and again nothing enters into our head <laughs> i told you if you want to know what is tamoguna the best expression of tamoguna is ah eh? this is the expression of tamoguna why because the person has told still not registered so you keep saying ah eh? what 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 this is tamoguna rajoguna means before somebody complete saying you want to get into action so you don't listen to it completely and then when because you have not listened then you get confused uh, did he say to put it here or here i i think here no 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 i think here no what what is happening activity too much of rajas in sattva what happens calmly you listen and then do according to it. isn't it this is what we have to do <laughs> earlier i remember we had also seen three kinds of shishyas students remember that is also based on this only sattva rajas tamas satvik person satvik student is who one who understands and does many times one who understands without the teacher telling why because the matching is so perfect ha tamasik means doesn't understand anything rajasik means exactly opposite it understands or you can say rajasik is the one who is always confused did he say like this or did he say like that and tamasik is either you say non apprehension or misapprehension non understanding or misunderstanding you can you can divide them like this also so everything has this sattva rajas tamas okay now let us see sattva guna shankaracharya is explaining sattva but before sattva is actually explaining vishuddha sattva and then he comes to sattva verses 117 18 and 19 three verses on sattva guna let us go one by one sattvam vishuddham jalavat tathapi sattvam vishuddham jalavat 
ताभ्याम मिलित्वा सरणाय कल्पते यत्रात्मबिंब प्रतिबिंबित सन् प्रकाशयत्यर्क इवाखिल जडम सत्व विशुद्ध जलवत्था ताभ्याम मिलित्वा सरणाय कल्पते यत्रात्मबिंब प्रतिबिंबित सन् प्रकाशयत्यर्क इवाखिल जडम सत्व विशुद्ध नौ दिस फर्स्ट थ्री वर्ड्स इट सेल्फ कैन बी अंडरस्टूड इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वेज लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड ऑल डिफरेंट वेज सत्व सत्व मीन सत्व सो तमो गुण रजो गुण इज एक्सप्लेन तमो गुण इज एक्सप्लेन नौ सत्व गुण इसे सत्व विशुद्ध विशुद्ध मीन्स प्यूर सो यू कैन मेक अ सेंटेन्स हियर इट सेल्फ सत्व प्यू विशुद्ध मीन्स सत्व इज प्यूर यू रिमेंबर फॉर सत्व टू वर्ड्स विच वी एड सेट वर नॉलेज एंड प्यूरिटी सो प्यूर सत्व इज प्यूर वन मीनिंग विशुद्ध सत्व जलवत विशुद्ध सत्व प्यूर सत्व इज लाइक वॉटर सेकेंड मीनिंग वन मीनिंग इज वॉट सत्व इज प्यूर सेंटेन्स ओवर एंड इट इज लाइक जलव जलवत जलक मी जलवत मीन्स इट इज लाइक वॉटर वन वन मीनिंग सेकेंड मीनिंग इज विशुद्ध सत्व जलवत प्यूर सत्व इज लाइक क्लियर वॉटर सेकेंड मीनिंग थर्ड मीनिंग सत्व विशुद्ध जलवत सत्व इज लाइक प्यूर वॉटर दैट इज वाई हिस्स पुट दैट विशुद्ध इन बिट्वीन सो दैट ऑल दीज काइंड ऑफ मीनिंग्स कैन कम आउट ओके डोंट टेक शंकराचार्यजी कैजुअली इवन द प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द वर्ड्स इज वेरी थॉटफुल ही इज नॉट जस्ट पुटिंग एनीथिंग एनीवेर If he wanted to communicate only one meaning, he could have said "vishuddham sattvam jalavat," but he has not said that. He has said "sattvam vishuddham jalavat." Now somebody will say, uh, "Veji, if sattva is pure, then what is the meaning of pure sattva? Pure, 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 pure means what? If sattva is already pure, then why are you saying vishuddha sattva?" pure sattva so is there impure sattva also <laughs> there is no impure sattva but there is mishra sattva mishra sattva means what mishra sattva is mixed sattva and any kind of mixture is impurity only isn't it we have seen this what do you mean by pure water when there is water and water alone it is called pure water what do you mean by impure water when there is something in that water other than water that is called as impure water either dirt is there or some kind of uh, liquid is there some kind of juice is there isn't it now why are you saying there is vishuddha sattva and mishra sattva because vishuddha sattva does not create any problem it is like clear water that's what shankaracharya ji wants to say here he says vishuddham sattvam one meaning the pure sattva jalavat is like clean water or you can say sattva when it is pure is like clean water tathapi see the next word tathapi even then what tabhyam militva <laughs> militva having mixed with having combined with combined with what with both those tabhya means those two eh hey, those two rajas and thomas tabhyam militva 
saranaya kalpate when combined with rajas and tamas this sattva now causes samsara sarana sarana means transmigration sarati moves keeps moving samsarati samsara saranaya same root sru to keep moving saranaya kalpate means what sattva vishuddha vishuddha means it's not mixed with rajas or tamas it alone is there then there is no samsara vishuddha sattva is state of liberation where there is no samsara but mishra sattva when this sattva is mixed with rajas and tamas then what happens then it causes samsara are you getting how remember though it is mixed with rajas and tamas still it is sattva only so what does it do when it is mixed with rajas and tamas yatra where atma bimbah pratibimbita san prakashayati akhilam jadam this subtle point now we are seeing what is he saying he is saying that when that sattva which sattva we are not talking about vishuddha sattva now now please get this point clear when i say sattva you have to understand mishra sattva why because if i want to say vishuddha sattva i will say it specifically so when it is said sattva sattva is mishra sattva along with rajas and tamas so this sattva what it does atma bimbah atma bimbah atma is self bimba means that which gets reflected is called bimba in this sattva yatra where in this sattva this atman pratibimbita san gets reflected and then what does it do akhilam jadam prakashayati it illumines it lightens what entire inert world entire inert world don't just think about the world outside the body is also inert the mind is also inert please be careful why does this body and mind appear to be sentient because there is a reflection of consciousness happening in the mind now which part of mind is getting this we have seen ahankara remember that is the sattva aspect mind itself will have sattva rajas tamas but also remember that sattva is mixed with rajas and tamas so pratibimba reflection will depend on the quality of the mind how much sattva how much rajas how much tamas based on that the reflection will change that's why the example that bhagwan has given shankaracharya has given is correct jalavat sattva is like water means what when that water is absolutely clear steady serene calm it is vishuddha sattva when that water is not absolutely calm and not absolutely clean means what when it is mixed with rajas and tamas rajas is dirt rajas means fluctuations in the mind isn't it mind is full of thoughts so it is not calm and it is mixed with tamas tamas is dirt here that it is muddy then what happens then in that water see water is still sattva but because it is added with rajas and tamas that water is not clean and steady the water is impure and unsteady now in that impure unsteady water reflection will happen but that reflection will also be unsteady haze hazy 
ओके बट इन विशुद्ध सत्व इन एप्सल्यूटली क्लीन वॉटर हाउ विल बी द रिफ्लेक्शन एप्सल्यूटली क्लियर रिफ्लेक्शन ओके सो वॉट इज दिस सत्व डूइंग एज विशुद्ध सत्व इट डजंट कॉज एनी प्रॉब्लम इट इज एक्चुअली द फाइनल सोल्यूशन विशुद्ध सत्व बट वेन इट इज मिक्सड विथ रजस एंड तमस देन वॉट देन इट बिकम्स कॉज फॉर कंटिन्युएशन ऑफ संसार राइट एंड इवन देन वेन इट इज मिक्सड विथ रजस एंड तमस इवन देन इट इज द फैकल्टी थ्रू विच consciousness is transferred so to say to inert objects entire world is inert the only consciousness aspect is brahman but in sattva what happens sattva or mind has this capacity to reflect consciousness it borrows sentience from brahman and then what then that inert also appears to be sentient why i am saying appears to be sentient because it is not its own sentiency it is borrowed sentiency and how is it able to borrow it because of sattva mind also is made up of sattva therefore it has the capacity to reflect the self from the sattvic aspect of the subtle elements the mind is born and because of this sattva because of the sattvic aspect it has inherent capacity to reflect not inherent capacity of sentiency that inherent capacity of sentiency is only with consciousness is only with brahman but that brahman gets reflected in the mind why because mind is sattva mind has mind is made up of sattva and that sattva has inherent capacity to reflect to borrow sentiency and it borrow sentiency and then it what lends that sentiency to other inert objects starting from the body the mind gives sentiency to the body and the body starts to move by itself starts to show as though it is sentient but remember the moment mind leaves the body the body is inert again cannot even move no expression of sentiency are you getting it hmm सो सत्व विशुद्ध जलवत सत्व वन मीनिंग इज सत्व इज प्योर लाइक वाटर और अनदर मीनिंग इज प्योर सत्व इज लाइक वाटर क्लीन क्लियर वाटर और सत्व इज लाइक प्योर वाटर बट तथापि स्टिल ताभ्याम मिलित्वा शरणाय कल्पते व्हेन मिक्स्ड विद द अदर टू रजस एंड तमस इट बिकम्स कॉज for the samsara yatra where in which in which in which means what in that sattva atma bimba pratibimbita san the self gets reflected and being reflected in it prakashayati akhilam jadam it illumines or reveals the entire inert like what yatha ha arkah iva there is one more example प्रकाशयत्यर्क इव अर्क इव अर्क अर्क मीन्स सन सो वॉट ही हेज एक्चुअली डन इज जलवत अर्क इव इज वन एग्जाम्पल आत्मबिंब अर्क इव द सेल्फ इज लाइक द सन एंड सत्व इज लाइक वॉटर नो वॉट हैपन्स इन दैट वॉटर दिस सन गेट्स रिफ्लेक्टेड in that sattva self gets reflected which sattva the sattva that is mixed with rajas and tamas so according to the quality of how much rajas and tamas is mixed in that sattva the reflection will appear differently 
sometimes we meet some people and we say this person you know very very divine person very noble person what do you mean divine consciousness is expressing more through him and less through us it is, is it is it anything like that that he has got more seventy percent consciousness i am only thirty percent conscious like like sometimes they speak of gold no 24 karat gold and 18 karat gold etc so is it that he is a 24 karat consciousness ma, ma, i am only is a 17 karat consciousness no consciousness is same when it reflects it reflects completely but how will that reflection appear that depends on how much rajas and tamas is mixed which also means if we can remove rajas and tamas we don't have to do anything else why because sattva when it is vishuddha <laughs> is not a cause of bondage is not a cause of samsara okay so what we have to do removing rajas and tamas we have to become sattvic we have to inculcate sattva and then from that sattva we have to move to vishuddha sattva that is the path okay right now you see the same concept is explained in many other granthas also in patanjali's yoga sutra also he says chitta vritti nirodha tada drashtuhu swarupe avasthanam he explains that vishuddha sattva as chitta vritti nirodha and he says tada at that time drashtuhu for the seer swarupe avasthanam the seer becomes one with itself why because there is nothing to be seen there is no rajas no tamas distracting so what happens now the seer settles within are you getting so mind is like that river water tamas is the dirt in the water rajas is the movement the disturbance in that river water what is sattva sattva is still water and what is vishuddha sattva vishuddha sattva is no water that it has become so still that you don't experience it the reflection becomes so pure that you don't even understand that it is a reflection in water actually speaking if you think when you are looking at the reflection of the sun you are either looking at the rays of the sun getting reflected in the water or you, you are looking at the water you cannot look at reflection how will you look at reflection what is reflection think about it suppose there is a bucket of water and sunlight is getting reflected sun is getting reflected you see sun circle now either what you are seeing is water or what you are seeing is the reflection of light not reflection of sun the light of the sun gets reflected and so actually you are seeing the rays of the sun only but we don't understand what is jiva there is no jiva it is either the mind in which the jiva comes to be or the pure self which is getting reflected in the mind there is nothing called as jiva what do you mean by jiva ahankara what is this ahankara we had seen that it neither belongs to this category nor does it belong to this other category It's neither part of upadis nor is it part of atman. Somehow it has come in between. Okay, let us get out of this delusion that I am different from the self. Now there is Vishuddha Sattva, there is Mishra Sattva. Now what are the characteristics of Mishra Sattva? Are explained. See, we had seen characteristics of Rajoguna. 
various thoughts which disturb us raga dvesha kama krodha lobha moha madha matsarya ahankara etc we had seen the characteristics of tamoguna also adnyanam alasya nidra pramad mudhatva isn't it now what are the characteristics of sattva now he gives characteristics of both mishra sattva and vishuddha sattva so first he will give characteristics of mishra sattva in the next verse he will give characteristics of vishuddha sattva let us read one by one mishrasya sattvasya bhavanti dharma mishrasya sattvasya bhavanti dharma श्रद्धा भक्ति मुमुक्षुता दैवी च संपत्तिरसन्निवृत्ति मिश्रस्य सत्वस्य भवन्ति श्रद्धा च भक्ति मुमुक्षुता च दैवी च संपत्तिरसन्निवृत्ति हा मिश्र सत्वस्य भवन्ति धर्मा दीज आर द धर्मा कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मिश्र सत्व ऑफ द मिक्स्ड सत्व मिश्र सत्व मिक्स्ड विथ रजस एंड तमस तू ही सेस यू सी मिश्र से सत्व से भवंत धर्म हा तू तू मीन्स वॉट द प्रीवियस वर्स वी सेट दैट विशुद्ध सत्व एज अपोज टू दैट विशुद्ध सत्व बट फॉर मिश्र सत्व दीज आर द क्वालिटीज वॉट आर दे अमानिता आद्या आद्या बिगिनिंग विथ बिगिनिंग विथ अमानिता अमानिता मान मीन्स प्राइड अमानिता मीन्स एबसेन्स ऑफ प्राइड सो अमानिता दया मीन्स एबसेन्स ऑफ प्राइड एक्सेट्रा है वॉट आर दीज क्वालिटीज हाँ इन भगवदगीता चैप्टर थर्टीन आई थिंक देर आर सम ट्वेंटी क्वालिटीज इफ आई एम राइट अमानिवीव अहिंसा क्षातिराजव आचार्योपासन शौच रिमेम्बर एट्सेट्रा एट्सेट्रा इट कंटिन्ूस सो स्टार्टिंग विथ अमानित्व द क्वालिटीज वर्च्यूज विच आर एक्सप्लेन्ड ऑल ऑफ देम सो दिस इज लाइक शंकराचार्य एक्सपेक्ट अस दट वी हेव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड भगवदगीता एंड ही इज जस्ट सेंग यू सी दैट 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 इज जस्ट गिविंग रेफरेंस अमानिता आद्या ही हेज डन दैट अर्लियर ऑल्सो नो ऑल्सो इज डूइंग लाइक दैट नियमा यमा आद्या यमाद्या नियम यम एट्सेट्रा नियम यम एट्सेट्रा यम नियम आसन प्राणायाम एट्सेट्रा और डूज एंड डोंट्स एट्सेट्रा यम मीन्स नियम मीन्स डूज हाँ यम मीन्स डोंट्स करेक्ट so yama niyama don'ts and do's niyama yama do's and don'ts what is to be done what is not to be done one who understands that you know and there are these qualities are there no what is yama there are five qualities what is niyama five qualities when you study uh, yoga shastra etc they will explain all these things right that is also then shraddha shraddha is faith bhakti hi devotion मुमुक्षुता डिजायर फॉर लिबरेशन दैवी च संपत्ति द डिवाइन वेल्थ व्हाट इज दिस डिवाइन वेल्थ अगेन रेफरेंस टू भगवदगीता चैप्टर 16 दैट देर आर सर्टन क्वालिटीज विच आर कॉल्ड एज दैवी संपत् अभय सत्व संशुद्धि ज्ञान योग व्यवस्थि Starting from that, first three verses of 16th chapter, Bhagavad Gita chapter 16. First three verses tell Daivi Sampat. Those qualities, asat nivrtti hi, nivrtti hi, turning away 
from asat unreal what we have seen as vairagya not getting attached to unreal things these are the characteristics of mishra sattva <laughs> means what all the virtues all the values all the good qualities sadhana chatushtaya sampatti daivi sampatti all of them are characteristics of sattva sattva means mishra sattva now carefully see these are the qualities which will fight with the qualities or characteristics of rajas and tamas hmm? rajas has a characteristic of kama desire now that will be countered by qualities of sattva which will say no no satyam bruyat speak the truth now to fulfill my desire sometimes i have to lie so that quality of rajas that characteristics of rajas that to fulfill my desire i will lie is countered by speaking truth so characteristics of rajas and tamas are actually what is called as asurika sampat which is countered by sattva daivi sampat so this mishra sattva counters rajas and tamas though it is mishra sattva is because of mixture with rajas and tamas but it counters rajas and tamas one part of maya is fighting with another part of maya vidya maya is fighting with avidya maya rajas and tamas is what vikshepa shakti and avarana shakti what is sattva viveka shakti it's also power of maya only so the entire fight is happening between the maya different aspects facets of maya only very interesting brahman is not fighting with anything <laughs> brahman is not fighting brahman is not opposed to maya also why because for brahman there is no maya it can be opposed to something that exists it can fight with something that is there what will it fight with see today again and again reference of ramayana only is coming bhagwan shri rama took help of monkeys to fight with ravana monkeys represent thoughts of our mind which are always jumping they are like monkeys no have, have you seen monkey to be calm and still only hanuman ji only hanuman ji would have seen you know meditation no monkey will remain continuously something 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 they will keep doing thoughts of the mind but when that vishuddha sattva shri rama is there then all those monkeys like power one power they fight with rajas and tamas see brilliant so this mishra sattva or what we call as simply as sattva these this sattva's qualities characteristics are all the good values virtues good qualities hmm, which we have to inculcate and rajasik and tamasik dharma characteristics we have to get rid of when we will do that successfully we will slowly move to vishuddha sattva what are the qualities or characteristics of vishuddha sattva next verse vishuddha sattva sya guna prasadah स्वात्मानुभूति परमा प्रशांति तृप्ति प्रहर्ष परमात्मनिष्ठा यया सदानंदरसम समृछति विशुद्ध सत्व से गुणा प्रसाद स्वात्मा परमा प्रशांति 
तृप्ति प्रहर्ष परमात्मनिष्ठा यया सदानंदरसम समृति विशुद्ध सत्व से गुणा दीज आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ विशुद्ध सत्व वॉट आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ विशुद्ध सत्व प्युअर सत्व प्रसाद प्रकर्षेण साधन अनकंडीशन जॉय अनकंडीशन जॉय अनलिमिटेड जॉय अगेन एक्चुअली इट इज अ रेफरेंस टू भगवदगीता ओनली प्रसाद सर्व दुखा हानिस्ोपजाते प्रसन्न चेतसो हि आशु बुद्धि पर्यवतिष्ठते सेकेंड चैप्टर भगवदगीता विच इज स्थित प्रज्ञ लक्षण सेक्शन सो एक्चुअली व्हाट इज ही सेइंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ रजस एंड टमस आर बैड क्वालिटीज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ सत्व गुड क्वालिटीज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ विशुद्ध सत्व आर द क्वालिटीज ऑफ अ जीवन मुक्त ऑफ अ लिबरेटेड पर्सन दैट्स वॉट इज रेफरिंग टू दैट्स वाय प्रसाद ही यूज इज वर्ड फर्स्ट वर्ड टू इंडिकेट टू दैट वाय बिकॉज स्थित प्रज्ञ लक्षण स्थित प्रज्ञा इज यस्य प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठित वन हु इज रियलाइज मास्टर दैट पर्सन क्वालिटीज आर द क्वालिटीज ऑफ विशुद्ध सत्व यू सी ऑल द क्वालिटीज आर लाइक दैट प्रसाद अनकंडीशन जॉय स्व आत्म अनुभूति डायरेक्ट एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ वन सोन सेल्फ दैट इज रियलाइजेशन परमा प्रशांति एक्सट्रीम पीस बाइबल विल से पीस दैट पास ऑल अंडरस्टैंडिंग पीस दैट इज बियॉन्ड ऑल काइंड ऑफ थॉट्स दैट इज नथिंग बट ब्रह्मन तृप्ति ही कंटेनमेंट सी हाउ शंकराचार्य ओ वॉट वॉट शुड आई से अबाउट हिम सी अगेन इन फिफ्टीन चैप्टर देर आर क्वालिटीज ऑफ अ जीवन मुक्ता एक्सप्लेन इज एंड इट इन भगवदगीता देर ही यूजेस द वर्ड तृप्त वर्ड मीनिंग तृप्त दैट ही इज नाउ वॉट इज दैट लास्ट वर्स बुद्धिमान एतद बुद्धवा बुद्धिमान सैत कृतकृत्य भारत द पर्सन हू गेन्स द नॉलेज ऑफ द सेल्फ इज रियली वाइज एंड इज कृतकृत्य कृतकृत्य मीन्स तृप्त कंटेटेड प्रहर्ष प्रकर्षेण हर्ष हर्ष मीन्स जॉय प्रकर्षेण हर्ष मीन्स ब्लिस नौ इफ यू सी केयरफुली दीज आर एक्चुअली नॉट द क्वालिटीज This is the nature of that Brahman. This is the nature of the Jivan Mukta that is explained here as Vishuddha Sattva Se Dharma. The qualities of Vishuddha Sattva are actually not characteristics or qualities, but are lakshanas, are indicators, are uh, what we say nature of that Jivan Mukta. Yaya by which Sadananda Rasam Samruchati one comes to enjoy. रस एसेंस सदा एटर्नली ऑफ आनंद ब्लिस बाय विच वन कम्स टू एंजॉय द एटर्नल एसेंस ऑफ द ब्लिस द ब्लिस ऑफ द सेल्फ सो हियर द स्टेट ऑफ जीवन मुक्ति इज डिस्क्राइब्ड एज द स्टेट ऑफ विशुद्ध सत्व ओके the three verses that we have seen today are little tricky carefully you have to understand okay please spend more time on reflection on these three raj rajoguna tamoguna were very straight forward and simple satvaguna is little tricky why because he is explaining it as vishuddha sattva and mishra sattva and that mishra sattva is of good qualities satvik qualities what we call which is still a bondage You see, Bhagavad Gita also sattva is also bondage. Three kinds of bondages he will explain. But Vishuddha sattva is release from that bondage, is liberation. 
सो विशुद्ध सत्व इट्स क्वालिटीज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर एक्चुअली नॉट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स बट आर नेचर ऑफ दैट सुप्रीम स्टेट इट इज द नेचर ऑफ द पर्सन हु हैज अचीव दैट सुप्रीम स्टेट दैट इज हाउ ही इज एक्सप्लेनिंग विशुद्ध सत्व सो वर्सेस 117, 18 एंड 19 सत्व इज एक्सप्लेन सत्व गुण मीन्स वॉट मिश्र सत्व ऑल्सो एंड विशुद्ध सत्व ऑल्सो सो यू कैन से लाइक दिस सत्व और मिश्र सत्व इज सत्व गुण देर इज रजोगुण एंड तमोगुण एंड वॉट इज विशुद्ध सत्व इज गुणातीत इज बियॉन्ड थ्री गुण बियॉन्ड माया सो द वर्ड विशुद्ध सत्व विल बी यूज इन दैट कनोटेशन so from tamas to rajas from rajas to sattva from sattva to vishuddha sattva vishuddha sattva to gunatit traigunya vishaya vedaha nistraigunyo bhavarjuna nirdvandvo nitya sattvastha niryoga kshema atmavan second chapter of bhagavad gita bhagwan says everything in the world is triguna निस्त्रैगुण्यो भव यू बिकम निस्त्रैगुण्य निस्त्रैगुण्य मीन्स बियॉन्ड द थ्री गुण हाउ हाउ कैन आई गो टू दिस विशुद्ध सत्व द सोल्यूशन इज नित्य सत्वस्थ भव बी एवर इन सत्व देन यू विल गो टू विशुद्ध सत्व बी एवर इन सत्व मीन्स वॉट इफ यू आर इन तमस स्लोली कम टू रजस If you are in rajas, slowly come to sattva. If you are in sattva, remain in sattva, nitya always. Then what will happen? Then you will go to vishuddha sattva, nistrai gunya, gunati ta, jivan mukti. Okay. The topic of Maya is going on. Okay. But you see, Shankara Chaya has explained us the way of coming out of Maya. the entire purpose of studying maya in vedanta shastra is to come out of it always remember this so give only that much importance to the topic many many scholars have wasted their life thinking about maya let us not be like that we have to understand maya as much required to cross it that much only we have to understand right so bhagwan shankaracharya has explained all the three gunas now in the next two verses he concludes the topic of karana sharira actually in karana sharira so far he started with maya then three gunas but karana sharira as upadi he has not yet explained that he will do now he will tell what is this karana sharira what is its special state like in stool and sukshma he had explained for stool sharira he had said that jagrat is its special state for sukshma sharira he said swapna is its special state he will say for karana sharira susupti is its special state uh, state and what does it do what is that susupti that will be explained in next two verses 1 2 1 2 and 1 to 1 120 and 121 and then in next two verses he will conclude the topic of entire anatma why because tula sukshma karan all three shariras the topic is over so he will conclude he will summarize the entire section of kah asau anatma and then he will go to the answer of next question very methodical shankara acharya ji okay we will see that in the next session om purnamad purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vashishyate om shanti 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 hari hi om shri gurubhyo namaha hari hi om hari thank you